If for any reason you want your customers to contact you before placing orders on your online store, this video may be helpful. For some products, customers don't need to go ahead and start making orders when they want to buy them. An example of such product is Digital Assets. This is a website where we sell online businesses. Now if I go over to the listings page, then I choose any of the products. Right here, customers can decide to add this product to the cart or they can go ahead and make an inquiry before placing their orders. So if customers click on make an inquiry, they will get this pop-up where it will display the name of the particular product they want to make inquiry on. All what they need to do is enter in their name, email, subject, and then they go ahead and enter in the main information. And they need to accept our terms. Scrolling down, they click on send. Enquiry was sent successfully. As an administrator, you receive an email straight to your inbox, where it will show the name of the website where the message is coming from, the name of the product, the product URL, the name of the customer, their email, as well as the message. You can also customize the enquiry form so that customers will also get a copy of the email. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add product enquiry form in WooCommerce. If this is what you want, then keep watching. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel where we show you how to make websites with WordPress and also show you how to buy and sell online businesses. So if you are new here, don't be a stranger anymore. Make sure you join the family by subscribing to the channel and also enable the notification bell so that you don't miss out on our future videos. I already have the enquiry form on this website, so I'm going to show you how you can add it using a different website. I have a dummy website here where I'm going to show you how to add your inquiry form. To do that, we are going to install a plugin. So I go to the back end of my website. Then I go over to plugins, click on add new. And the search plugins, I search for product inquiry for WooCommerce. And this is the very plugin I'm going to install product inquiry for WooCommerce by Wisdom Labs. I click on install now. There are other plugins you can go ahead and use, but this one works fine. It is installed. I click on activate. The plugin is installed and activated successfully. And you see it right here on the admin panel, product inquiry. Now, if I go to the shop page of my website, I'll open it in a new tab. Then I go ahead and choose any of the products. Scrolling down, you will see make an inquiry for this product button. If I click on it, it will give me this pop-up where you see the name of the products and the rest of the fields. So immediately after installing the plugin, it will work straight out of the box. However, there are other customizations you can do if you want to. For instance, changing the text on the button. If you are finding this so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. All right, let's get back to the video. So if I go to the back end of my website, then I go ahead and click on product inquiry. It will bring me to the product inquiry settings. The first field we have right here is the recipient email. In here, you see the email address you use to install WordPress. If you want the messages from the inquiry form to be directed to a different email address, you need to enter that right here. It should be noted that you can also add multiple email addresses separated by a comma. Next is default subject field. You can customize this text whichever way you want. Next, we have sent email to admin. When this checkbox is checked, the inquiry email messages will be sent to the admin email address you have specified under settings, which is basically the same as the recipient's address. That is if you don't want to change it. So if this box is checked and you also specify different email address right here, you receive the messages in that email address as well as the admin email address. For me, the recipient email and the admin email is the same. So checking this box doesn't really matter. Next is send email to product author. This particular one comes in handy when you are running a multi-vendor e-commerce store. Next section is inquiry button options. And the first field we have right here is inquiry button label. As you can see, this is the exact text we are having on the button right here. So this is where you can go ahead and customize it. So I'll just say make an inquiry. Next is inquiry button location where you have the option to choose after add to cart button or after single product summary. By default, it is after add to cart as you can see right here. 
if you want it to appear after summary, you can go ahead and select this. For now, after add to card will work fine. You can also decide to display the inquiry button as a link if this checkbox is selected. The next section is form options, where customers can receive copies of their inquiry when this particular checkbox is selected. Next is display telephone number field. With this checkbox selected, you have the opportunity to add telephone number field to your inquiry form. You can also decide to mark it as a mandatory field or not by checking this box. Going down to the next section, that is styling options, you can go ahead and add some CSS if there is a need. I will show you in a moment how you can add in CSS here to change some of the colors on your inquiry form. Going down to the final section, that is inquiry terms and conditions. In here, you can go ahead and display terms and conditions for your users to be able to accept them. You can customize the message right here whichever way you want. And with this short code right here, meaning it's going to display your privacy policy page. When all is set, you go ahead and click on save changes. The settings is saved. Now if we go over to the front end, let's see how the previous form looks like. So I click on make an inquiry. This is how the form used to look like. You see that we don't have send me a copy. We don't also have the terms and conditions feature. So if I refresh the page, for now you see that the button is now a link. If I click on it, it will give me the pop-up where I have the new field that is the phone number. Send me a copy as well as the terms and conditions checkbox. Perfect. Now that we have our inquiry form in place, let's see how we can change the color right here to match with the colors of our team. So what we are going to do is go ahead and right click on the form. Then you go ahead and click on inspect. If you want to get to the exact location you want to work on, make sure you right click exactly on that particular portion. So I click on inspect. As you can see, that particular section is highlighted right here. Now if I come to the filter style section, going down, right here you see background color. And the color we have on top here is the same color you are seeing right here. If I change this color now, so what I do is I just select it, then I take it off. As you can see, immediately upon removing, the color has gone off. So this is where we want to enter whatever color you want. And like I said, we want to use a color that will match with the colors of our team. I don't want to lose this page, so I go to the back end of my website and open my website in a new tab. I have this color picker add-on right here, that is Colorzilla. It is available for both Chrome and Firefox browsers. So I'll just go ahead and click on it. Then I'll locate whichever color I want to use on my page. I think this is the color right here. Upon pointing on it, you see the color appear right here. So I go ahead and point on the right color, then I click to copy it. I exit from here, then I go back to the inspect element page, and this is where I'm going to enter the color code. I'll just paste it in there. You see that I've pasted, but it's not working. And the reason is that I have additional hashtag right here. So I'll just go ahead and take it off, and you see the color right there. Perfect. The next thing you want to do is grab the CSS code in this particular section right here, starting from .ui-dialog up to this curly bracket. So I highlight from here down to the curly bracket, then I go ahead and copy it. Take note, adding the color right here doesn't necessarily affect your work. If I exit out of here and I refresh the page, if we click on it, you still see the blue color right here. So let's go back to the back end of our website to the inquiry form settings. Then we go ahead and paste in the CSS code right here. Maybe I'll also change some of the settings. For instance, display inquiry button as a link. I don't need it to be linked, so I uncheck this. Then going down, I click on save changes. Now if you come back to the front end of our website and refresh, you now see our link to be a button. If we go ahead and click on it, you see the color we have specified on top right here. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and test the form out. I'll just enter in my name, my email address, phone number, subject will be inquiry, and then the inquiry field. I can send myself a copy. If users do not agree to these terms, they try to send, you see this alert, please select terms and conditions. So I need to select it 
then I go ahead and click on send. Enquiry was sent successfully. I click on OK. Now I go ahead and check my inbox. And right here, I have a new message enquiry. I just click on it. And you see that the message is coming from my plan shop. That is the name of my website. And I have the name of the product right here, the product link, the name of the customer, their email address, phone number, and then the main message. From here, I can easily click on reply and give them my feedback. So that's it on how you can add product inquiry form in WooCommerce. Now, if you want to convert your WooCommerce product into a catalog mode, make sure you stick around to watch any of the two videos on your screen right now.